This video is an introduction to R and R Studio. Now, R is a programming language. It started out with a focus on statistics and data analysis, uh, but it's grown to be a really full-fledged programming environment that can do lots of things like build websites and run simulations. And R is what runs all of the code that we're going to learn how to write. And it's worthwhile to remember that R is separate from R Studio. So R is what drives going on in R Studio, but they are not inherently connected to one another. R Studio is where we are going to do our R coding, uh, and it is an integrated development environment, or an IDE. And the idea behind integrated development environments is that they can make it easier to write and develop code. And so R Studio is designed to make it easier to write and develop code in R. It does this by including a number of different tools uh, for developing code all in one place. The first of these uh, we see right when we open up R Studio uh, is the console, otherwise known as the interpreter. And this is where R is actually running. So if you run R outside of our studio, it will look very much just like this part, this window here. We typically use the console for working interactively. So we can do things like type in a single R command, say two plus two, and hit enter, and the console will return a value to that one line of R code. It will turn, return the result of that one line of R code. This is also where our studio is going to run all of the code that we write up in a different section of our studio called the text editor. We don't have any files open right now, so to open the text editor, we're gonna click on this new file button in the top left corner, and we'll select R script. And an R script is just a plain text file that contains some R code. And so this is where we're going to write code that we want to be able to keep for later and potentially reuse. If we type some code in here and then save the file by pressing either the save button or control S, and then we can give it a name. We'll just use myscript.r as an example here. We'll see down in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, we've stored this script. In addition to letting us save our code for later, the text editor provides a number of features that make it easier to understand and see what's going on in our R code. And so it does things like object highlighting so that we can see different aspects of the code showing up. You can see the numbers are blue. If I type in a string, a name Bob, uh, it'll show up in green and we'll get a, a variety of different highlighting. It also does things like automatically pairing things that mark the beginning and end of a piece of code. So if I type a single quotation mark, it will actually make two and put my cursor between them so that I can type a string uh, if I type curly braces, it will do the same thing. It also helps with automatically indenting code. So if I started to create a for loop, and we don't need to understand these things yet, but it's worth seeing them. And I hit enter, it'll automatically indent the code in a useful way. And likewise, it will flag issues uh, before I've even finished writing the code. And so I actually made a mistake here and R is telling me that there's something wrong. And the last notable thing that the text editor will do for us is auto completion. So it will allow us to start writing the name of a variable or a function and it will fill it in for us. And so, for example, if I started typing uh, the name of the length function, it would then show me all of the possible 
different completions of that, and I could either click here or I can press tab to complete it. So that saves a lot of repetitious work, uh, less typing, and it also makes it easier to make fewer mistakes. We also have a number of other features in our studio. These include the environment tab, which will tell us what variables and functions we've created. So if I said a is equal to two, we'll see that a shows up over here and has a value of two. So we can see what's going on uh, in the computer's memory at any given point in time. We can also look at the history. And so this will tell us all of the commands we've run in case we lose something at some point, we can come back here and find it again. And finally, the last big thing that our studio will do for us is project management. So down here uh, by me, uh, we can see we've got a files tab. We can create new folders. We can uh, add, delete, and rename files uh, if we want to. And our studio also has projects which will help to uh, tell our code where all of the other files in it are. And so it can make it much easier uh, to reference other files like data files in our code. So that's a brief introduction to R in our studio. R is a programming language. It's what's going to run all of the code that we write. Uh, and it doesn't require our studio to do that. It's, it's separate. Our studio is an integrated development environment, which is basically a set of tools put together to make it easier to write our code. And that's what we're going to work in this semester.